Hey brother! Hey brother! Hey! What's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Evo Goblin Build a Figure Waves Game Reverse PS4 Mark III Armored Spider-Man. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big! Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com! Click the link in the description below! So same thing with the Velocity suit, they did change the packaging over here, uh, comparing it to the Advanced suit. Uh, you can see that the plastic and the cardboard are not connected right here but they are right over here it's not a big deal i think it does help with people stealing parts and stuff like that and swapping but anyway on the side you can see a nice image of spider-man right there on the back you can see a product shot of the mark III armor there's a read up over here if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now there's the other figures from the wave and then we get spidey again right there and then on the top you don't get a logo or anything you just see some webbing and then not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's the mark III armor spider-man figure out of the packaging and and I don't know why, but I just get this tank vibe with this suit right here. I mean, it is an armored up Spider-Man, so it does make sense. And everything is brand new over here. I don't recognize any of these parts from any other figure, so that makes me really happy to see it. And just makes the figure a little extra fun already. Uh, just like the Velocity suit figure, we don't get many accessories at all. So let's just get a closer look at that one piece, and then we'll take a closer look at this figure. He only comes with this web glob piece right over here, which I do like. It's just, I wish we had the interchangeable hands once again. Uh, one cool thing about this is it looks like it's meant to be put on the face of a figure, but I like putting it around a gun right over there. You know, I think that looks kind of neat. But getting it onto this Madrix head sculpt on a chameleon body, I go for these longer strands on the top to go around the top of the head. So yeah, that's top to me. That fits on it best, I think. And I really like the detail in it. That looks really good. It's kind of funny seeing it on the face right there. When you plant it on a normal sized head sculpt like this, it looks really good. I'm really pleased with that a lot. So that's pretty awesome. Really like that sculpt in there. Very cool. <laughs> So here's some images from the PS4 video game of the Mark III Armored Spider-Man. And I think the power for this suit was that it could deflect bullets, right? I think this was kind of like it had, it had a deflection ability, uh, which I thought was pretty cool, but I didn't really use it that much. This is not my favorite armor, but I don't have anything particularly wrong with it. It's not the worst. It's just not my favorite design. But anyway, I do think the figure came out looking really good, though. I love the paint apps right over here for the blue. And the black looks really good, even though it looks like there's like very faint speckling of black and places where it shouldn't be right over here. It's just a very, very minor thing to gripe about, but mostly looks really good. I like this whole gear right over here. That looks great. So yeah, really good looking. And then this is like a really good solid red color, like how we'd gotten with the Velocity suit. So I think that's dope. I also like the Velocity suit. We get brand new sculpt throughout on this figure, which looks really well detailed. Unlike the Velocity suit, where it didn't capture a lot of those sculpted details and the texturing, this one does. So I'm really happy about that. We get some really good paint apps throughout. And we get accurate details on the left hand right there, but on the right hand it looks a little faded. And the whole back piece right over here I think is sculpted out pretty good. And I do have a little black paint splotch right over there. Eh. Not a big deal. And there is this thing that is bothering me with this figure where there's a lack of glossy red on some parts of the figure. So the torso has it, the head sculpt has it, but we're missing it on the shoulder pads, on the forearms, on the waist piece, and on the legs. So that bothers me, and then it does come back for the feet, and we get peg holes as well. So the articulation on this figure isn't too bad. You can move the head up pretty far, so that's cool, and it will move down. You get side to side motion and no head tilting, eh, maybe a little bit of wobbling right there. I like how these shoulder pads are attached to the shoulder joint right there, so that's cool. So you can move the shoulders outward that far. You can move them down and rotate a full 360 bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, both wrists turn side to side and hinge up and down. Do you get an ab crunch forward, ab crunch back very far? You can see it is missing sculpt right there when I do that. Kind of wish it continued through. I don't know if it's part of the design or not though. But you get a waist swivel. Hips move outward that far. Kicks forward that far. Can you do a full 360? Yes you can! And no scuffage or anything. On this side, oh my god! And it's okay. Alright. So yeah, it's always <laughs> so scary. Anyway, you get a uh, upper thigh cut right there. Double jointed knees and then ankles turn side to side. You can get an ankle pivot and they move down and up. 
Kind of weird ending the articulation segment without ankle pivot, right? But anyway, to measure out the Mark III armor Spider-Man, you can see that he's standing at six inches tall. And then for a size comparison, here's the Mark III next to the Velocity suit. Then here's the Mark III armor Spider-Man next to the Advanced suit and the Velocity suit. And you can see they all kind of stand at different heights. I guess the Advanced suit's the tallest, then Velocity, and then Mark III. And then here's our Mark III armor Spider-Man next to the MCU Mark III armor Iron Man from the Iron Man movie line from way back in 2008. It would be great if Hasbro gave us upgraded versions of the older armors. That would be awesome. I mean, we've gotten the last 10 years version of the Mark 1, but that was just a repaint. I'm talking about like retooled Mark 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that would be awesome. And then here's the Mark 3 armor next to your average 6 inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider-Man. Hey brother. Hey brother. Whoa, again with the hands? Wow, what a trip. Two times in a row. High five. Whoa, whoa. So not my favorite of the PS4 Spider-Man video game suits, but I do like how this figure came out. I thought it came out looking really, really cool. I'm pleased with the paint apps. I think the sculpt looks great and everything. The articulation is really good. My biggest gripe is the fact that we don't get interchangeable hands with these two PS4 figures. It's very frustrating. Uh, it does limit things. So yeah, I am bummed about that. However, you know, I still like the figure. So at the price point around 20 to 25 bucks, I'm giving it a sub rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all the people over here that support this YouTube channel over on Patreon. If you're interested in the giveaways and the exclusive content and the early access stuff over there, check it out. Link in the description below. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, you could always find it over at MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me on the Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.